I've been begging, I've been pleading for them to make this panel, the keyframes panel. It's available in the edit page and it's freaking amazing. I hope you can handle it. You get it because you, there's the handles to ease. I hope it's easy to handle because you can ease the keyframes and there's handles. Resolve 20 is out and Blackmagic just added an update to the edit page that I have been begging for for centuries. Forever. 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 <laughs> so let's say we have a little cartoon guy here and we want to do some basic animation with him here on the edit page. If we have him split out into layers like this, then we can take each of these layers and kind of transform them separately. None of that is new. But just to kind of get this set up here, let's take our anchor point and just put this right here on his shoulder. And then we can grab this and rotate it. That's the wrong freaking arm. <laughs> <laughs> we can take and adjust this anchor point and move this around. It's glitching a little bit, but it won't actually do that when we animate it. We can have his hand kind of come up like this. We can keyframe the rotation angle like this and have it kind of go down like that. And then when we play this back, we can have that kind of move around like this. So this is all stuff that we could do in Resolve 19. But what would happen is if you had any kind of animation on any of these tracks, you could hit this really annoying button that you would accidentally hit all the time. And it would show a graph of the keyframes, giving you the illusion <laughs> that you could edit them and adjust your animation. And the problem is it just didn't really work very well. But in Resolve 20, they've completely redone the keyframe system. And oh my goodness, it is so Good. Check this out. So I have my animation here and I have a couple different ways that I can view my keyframes. One thing to note is that the weird keyframe drop down within the track is gone, which is great, but I can go over here to this button and click on that and that will give us this keyframes track here. And I can take these keyframes and I can adjust the timing of them just by clicking and dragging, dragging these back and forth. And now I can adjust that timing really easily here in the timeline. This is great because it lines it out and references the actual size and zoom and everything of your timeline. And so it's really easy to get your timing right with this little ruler down here. Now, part of adjusting these animations is easing the keyframes, which this is where it gets really good. If we go up here to this little icon here, and click on keyframes, this gives us this whole like keyframe window, this whole suite to animate things. And not only can we grab the keyframes and move them around, but we can also click this little button right here and see a graph of our keyframes, which is super helpful when you're doing things like easing. So right now, if we were to play this back, we can see he moves his arm, but it starts moving immediately and it stops moving immediately. What we can do is we can select these keyframes and go up here and hit this button to automatically ease them. And so now, as this plays back, oh, look at that. It's just a much nicer movement. It speeds up and then slows down before it stops. Oh. And you can select any of these and you can adjust the timing and the handles and everything just like you would expect to be able to do. You can add keyframes on this and adjust things and move them around. So you can get really intense with your animation here in the edit page. Now, why is this a big deal? Because previously to get this kind of control over your animation, you had to go into the fusion page, which if you watch my channel, you'll know I'm a huge fan of the fusion page, but it's not everybody's cup of tea or coffee. See, I didn't even mean to do that. That's just natural. By the way, I wanna let you know that we just came out with a free mini course on how to make amazing motion graphics in Resolve in five minutes or less. This is a toolbox of some really convenient little techniques that you can use to spice up your videos and make some better graphics. We dive into the Fusion page a little bit and it's really, really easy. All you have to do is follow along. So if you wanna check that out, there's a link right here or in the description. But now we can animate things on the edit page. And what I'm really excited about is to be able to build things like animation rigs and tools in the Fusion page, and we can bring them into the edit page as a macro and actually be able to take control and animate them with keyframes in the edit page without having to go back into the Fusion page all the time. So they've obviously been working really hard on this. I think it's fantastic work. I'm really excited to be able to adjust animations here right on the edit page. It's still a little bit buggy. We are in public beta, but dang, it's just going to get better from here. And I'm so excited to see all the cool stuff that we can do with this. So I'm just going to kind of reset everything here and let's just go through and animate this real quick and just see how just see how it goes so i think what i want him to do is kind of like look down and then look up and then wave all right so let's grab the head and i'm going to adjust the anchor point for the head make sure that my on-screen controls are on 
let's take this anchor point and just move this around here. We'll put the anchor point for his head like right here at the base of his neck. So now we can control it like that. And maybe we want this up here a little more. Yeah, sure, that works. And so we'll have his head down like this and let's animate the rotation and the position. So let's just grab the position and kind of move that down like that. And so we'll have him kind of tilt his head up like this, move it. So now he tilts his head up and let's add another keyframe here and then move down a little bit and we'll just kind of tilt his head back up to normal. We can see everything that's happening here in the graph. I'll select all of these and just hit auto smooth like that. So now, yeah, that looks good. Okay, now we'll make him wave and let's do this arm and we'll set the anchor point for his arm like this and then we'll have him wave. Yay, he'll wave, okay, great. So we'll set this like right here. At the beginning, we'll rotate this down like this and then set a keyframe for rotation angle and then we'll have him look up first, set another keyframe for rotation angle, then we'll have him rotate up like this and then we'll have him kind of wave this back and forth like this, just wave. Just wave a little bit. There we go. Great. And then let's put this back down. Yeah. Put this back down to zero. Sure. Okay. So now he looks and he waves and let's make sure that we ease all of that. So I'll just select all of these and hit this right here. Now, one thing is that we're kind of overshooting this. And so I think I want to maybe make this linear. Let's just zoom it out. There we go. We'll just make that flat like this. We have a lot of control over these keyframes here, and I love that. We'll just make sure these are nice and flat like this. One thing I'd like to see is kind of what they have in Fusion, which is you can just flatten them, but it looks like we only have like smooth. So now it comes up and yeah, he waves. That's so great. This is so cool. Like this, literally just doing this was impossible a few days ago. So the new keyframes panel in Resolve 20 is so exciting. I'll be glad to see how this kind of grows and refines and gets better over the next few months. And this is also gonna be so helpful for motion graphics. We'll be able to animate things right here on the edit page. It's gonna save so much time. I'm so excited about it. If you're somebody who's really excited about animating and motion graphics and that kind of spiciness for your videos, make sure to check out our mini course right there or in the link in the description, okay? That's your job. And I'll show you some really cool tools and techniques to make some fancy visuals. And I promise you, you're gonna use those techniques over and over and over again. It's, it's a gold mine, baby. It's a golden mine. You get gold from the mine and the mine is also made of gold. It's a golden gold mine.